It's always nice when a splendid bird from paradise and a duck from a pond can share decorating tips. Nice! I like this red, blue, pink, green thing you got going. Nice. Ooh. Do you like my branch? It's my whistle branch. Hey, hey, if you're gonna whistle, I gotta go. Bye. Splendid Bird had everything she ever wanted in a home. It was warm. It reminded her of the jungle. It was near a loud singing duck. No ducks don't whistle, cause we can't sing. And it was sheltered from the weather. <sighs> but not enough. Ah! Get Basil! My house is gone. What? It was there and now it's gone! Hmm. Oh, it snowed last night! Ge? What is snow? Well, it's white. And... Let's get Chirp to explain. It's white, for sure. And cold. Cold and white. Let's get Quack to explain. Snow is white cold stuff that comes down in the winter so ducks can make tracks. See, I couldn't do that if it weren't for snow. See, sí, entiendo, but it took away my house. See? Sí? It'll come back in the spring when the snow melts. That's a long time from now. <sighs> All I ever wanted was a home that looked like my old home. Chirp felt so bad for Splendid Bird that she decided to surprise her with a new home. Just as soon as she found one. Get it. Hmm. No room. Ah! <gasps> Maybe. Chirp needed to measure the tube to see if it was big enough for Splendid Bird. And for that, she needed a duck. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's big enough. Do you remember, Quack? <laughs> I always remember. What am I remembering? Splendid Bird from Paradise's measurements. I wrote them down, but I can't remember what. There! I wrote them on your head so we wouldn't lose them. Exactly. I told you I'd remember. So Splendid Bird is four Quack feet tall, Three across, and seven this way, including her tail. Nine is bigger than seven, right? I think she's gonna fit. <laughs> <laughs>